then, so, uh, I will screen this slideshow. Okay. So I think the, the next thing is, I'm gonna introduce a completely unrelated paper and you will see why eventually. So this is RISE, random input sample, randomized input sampling for explanation of black box models. This is a completely unrelated paper that you'll understand why I'm bringing this up in a bit. But in the short version of this, is just an approach to tweak the inputs to a neural network, see how the outputs change, and based off of that, give a score for every single location of how much it cares about every spot. So it's basically the way that it operates is it creates a mask on an input image. This is a, this is a technique for explaining neural network models. Um, like given this image of a shark, we can mask out randomly various portions, run it through our model, and get a score of how much it represents <coughs> that particular class, do a weighted sum of the masks themselves based off of the changes in the models that output for that class. And uh, what that gives us is it gives us a map of, okay, let's say the entire the shark is masked out and it changes by a lot. That's going to be very important. If it doesn't mask that out and it doesn't change by anything, then that portion isn't important to the model. We assume that if a portion is removed from the input and the accuracy changes a lot, then that portion must have been important to the model's uh, behavior. All right, cool, you guys are experts on RISE now. So we'll go back to my uh, presentation. And here's my project proposal. So RISE works on any black box model. So we can, this, we can study human perception using RISE. Uh, we can run it, we can apply it on Amazon Mechanical Turk. We create a setup where we, have, we take an image and we mask out portions of that image randomly according to uh, the same way that RISE does it. And we give that to, to very poorly paid volunteers, and we see their evaluations of uh, how much the, of uh, like, uh, whether or not a certain object is in that, and we average over multiple uh, like instances of them saying that, of, we need lots of different volunteers because you can't expose the people to the same image with different masking because they'll recognize that probably, you know, something, something about scientific integrity. Uh, but then what we could do is we could get an objective evaluation of human perception using this model, using the technique designed to analyze machine learning models. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of my stupid presentation. <laughs> anyway, now is the actual break. The next section will not take a lot of time though, so don't worry. I know I've been speaking for like literally